So this is the setup I'm working with. That's the scanner. That's what I'm going to scan today. Got it all attached. Let me just pop this up. Light is on. There we go. Doing it standing up on a standing desk is so much better for my back. So that's what I'm working with. Best to not have your cats in with you. They are very annoying when you're trying to scan. Okay. So, front page, I'm gonna go for color. I'm gonna go for flat paper. Just to make sure everything else is out of the shot, including the mouse. Once that's there, we're gonna click scan. I usually make sure it's focused first. Always just make sure the first one's come up okay. Give it a double click. Yeah, that's pretty happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna change it to a curved book. I usually change it to black and white depending on what I'm scanning. Pop it in the middle. I usually line it up with the line, but I don't think you even need to really. Um, then probably I I'm going to autofocus and then click auto scan because I'm using auto scan quite a lot now. You can see on the left it's done. I'm just flipping the page as you can see. Good. And so this is why the auto scan feature is so good. Okay, so I'm just going to take off auto scan while I just click to check to see if this is coming out okay. So at the beginning I always just check to see that it's come out alright. Looks pretty decent. So when you're on the black and white mode, even though we've got this sort of like um, the light, the glare from the light, it still comes up pretty well. Uh, but I always check because there's no point getting all the way through the scan and then it being, uh, yeah, being rubbish. Right, page five, yeah, page five. So I'm gonna auto scan after the focus. And then when I flip the page, when it settles, it's just gonna scan it. Good, I don't have to wait for that bottom left thing to have uh, finished rendering or whatever. You can just flip and go and it'll catch up. Uh, so I will just let this record as I go through the whole pamphlet. So this auto scan feature is pretty awesome. As you can see, I'm not having to do anything. I just flip the page and once the page is settle, settled, it uh, realizes and then it just clicks the scan by itself. Um, for bigger books, uh, if we're using the these little um, the jig is to hold the pages down. Obviously, if you're holding each page down, um, you can't click the scan button. Uh, so either you can have this auto on or you can use the foot pedal. So foot pedal is pretty awesome. So you just saw we did that staple page. Sometimes on the staple page, um, the algorithm doesn't work so well, but we can, um, we can sort that out in post, um, which I'll show you in a, after I finish scanning this. So you see, even though that yellow midline isn't straight down the middle, it's not in the center of the, of the page, it really doesn't affect it that much as you can see from the scans coming out on the bottom left. So when we get to this last page and we've got a bit of grayscale, I'm gonna change it to auto uh, instead of black and white, because if I did black and white, this photo wouldn't come out correctly. So let's see how this goes. I just take off auto scan so it's going to keep scanning loads of stuff and we'll see how this has come out on the bottom left see what bj palmer looks like shall we so it takes a bit longer to scan when you've got on auto as you can see but look how this one's come out yeah that's that's pretty decent we can change we can sort all this out in uh, in post yeah and that's the page before not bad. So I'll show you what it would look like if I had black and white on and I did the scan. Let's just do the scan and I'll show you what it will come out like. The left page will be fine, but the right page will look like this, which is not what we want. So I'll just delete those extra pages. OK, 
Okay, we are pretty much to the end page now. Let's do these last ones. Yeah, black and white, I guess it's fine. These last two pages that are not really anything. Again, and then I'll just do the back page and because this page is colored I will just do this one in color that means I should change it to flat paper again um, I didn't go through all of these settings in here or anything but yeah I usually do smart black edge optimization page mending I will sometimes do have that on um, yeah you can go through that stuff right anyway there's that scan and we'll see how that comes out. Always check the colored ones at the end. Yeah, that's come out pretty lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay, so that is how many pages done in seven minutes. That was 75 pages, seven minutes. That scanning is complete and done. Uh, and so now comes the editing which takes a little bit longer.